Hi and welcome to this nesting and fabrication tutorial video series. In this video, we're going to look at the process of actually manufacturing your nest studies. As you can see, we've got a series of three nest studies already calculated. The first of which we chose to create manufacturing models. That means each sheet is represented with its own manufacturing model. This is a requirement for creating toolpaths directly in Fusion 360. So let's go ahead and show you the workflow. And the recommended workflow is to right click and you have a create setup from manufacturing model option. Now this option can be performed on the sheet level, meaning that you'll get one setup created. It can be done on the nest level, meaning that you'll get one setup for each manufacturing model contained within that nest. Or you can right click on the nest study itself and create setups for all sheets within this particular nest study. For the purposes of this example, let's do it on a single sheet. So right click on sheet 75 and choose to create a setup from the manufacturing model. A couple of things to bear in mind. If you're wanting to program a laser, a water jet or a plasma, cutting will be required as your operation type. If you're wanting to program a router or a milling machine, go ahead and choose milling. In the stock tab, you can see that the default option is changed to from solid and a stock solid has been chosen. Let's go ahead and navigate to our browser, open up our sheet 75. In the bodies folder, you can see we have a stock aluminium body that was created because of the options we selected when we were creating our nest study. For more information on creating a nest study, check out the video in this tutorial series. From there, I can press OK, and our setup has been created. From there, we can create toolpaths in exactly the same way we would for any type of setup. In this case, because we chose an operation type of cutting, we can go ahead and use 2D Profile. If you're wanting to export DXF files that can be read directly by your machine tool, you don't need to create manufacturing models for each sheet. In Nest Study 7, we chose not to output the manufacturing models, therefore just given as placeholders for each sheet. Simply right click on a sheet and choose Export. From here, give your sheet a name, press save, and you're presented with the export configuration editor. The editor can be used to perform things like layer mapping for your DXF, as well as the ability to configure some parameters, such as choosing to ignore points or text. You can go ahead and hit preview to show you what your DXF output will look like. And once you're happy, simply press OK. And those DXF files are ready to be run directly on your machine tool. So to summarize, in terms of toolpath creation, there's no real difference when programming nested parts. Simply create your toolpaths in exactly the same way. Thanks for watching this nesting and fabrication tutorial video on manufacturing your nests. Check out the other videos in this series for help with creating nest studies, dialing in your component sources, your material library, and every step in the nesting and fabrication workflow.